What's up guys, uh, just thought I'd do a little quick video. This rail here, it's the Pen Warfare 20LW, which is the level wine, which is the, tw the 20 size level wine. This rail was sent to me by Smash Fishing, and it was broke. It was, uh, he, sent, if, he said to me, if you can get it, if you can get it fixed, you know, like you say, you've got, a, you've got yourself a rail. So, like you say, as you always do, you get your rail, you get the rail, and you, the first thing you do is you try and wind it, right? And I was doing it. It's got a bit of a, a noise, as you, if, as you can, uh, if you can hear. All right. And also, when I'm reeling, it's jumping. Like this, the, every now and then it jumps, and stu and and sometimes it gets jammed and locked. And so then, once I've done that, I took, I took it out the gear by doing this, and then. I was pulling the line okay and then when you're pulling the line there it's slowing down tightening up and then slacks off and then jams and then I've got to pull tight and then it unjams all right so there's definitely something that's broke uh, with the cog as the cog goes round it's jamming on the cog so I want the, like when I was taking the when I was thinking about taking this reel apart I didn't want to take out this section first which is the more uh has the more components on and the more things you can lose and the more things you know to take apart before you can get actually anywhere near the inside so first place i went to was this side all right now what i'm going to do now is i'm going to transfer you over to the camera that's up here uh and then i'm going to undo the three screws to take the side plate off and then you'll see what what the crack is i already know what the problem is because i've already ordered the new part it's here beside me and yeah and we're gonna i'm gonna show you what the problem was and we're gonna take it out now and put the new one in so yeah big camera and we'll get these screws out last screws out and put the screws side by side and take the little aluminium casing off there and then you can Got little uh, slide place where you can just pop your little screwdriver in just to pop the cover off. All right, so this part is absolutely fine. All right, none of this is 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 uh, damaged in in any way. I've already put new grease on. I've already cleaned all of the rail. Well, the whole rail is completely cleaned and re-greased and re-oiled. I cleaned. I took the bearings out, as you can see, one bearing here. I took that out, uh, soaked it in lighter fluid. The lighter fluid I use is the Swan lighter fluid. I soak the bearings in there for what a good half an hour, and then I take them out and then put one or two dabs of three in one oil, and that's all. That's all I do. And then I like I said, rebuild it and whatever, like all the cogs, uh, anything like this and like this. I always put a little bit of. Uh, Grease on, and the only grease I have is this green, uh, the real grease, the Tech Tackle real grease. I'm nearly almost, I'm almost empty of that now, so <laughs> I'll have to get some more. But like I said, all this part of the reel is actually perfect. The the problem was in this section right here, and it was this cog right here. So the way to get to this, I'm gonna have to do undo these three screws, and we'll get back to that soon as we get to the end and there once we've got the three screws out this cover should pop off like so and you don't need to worry about any um springs or anything like that that comes and pop that could pop off and you could lose no need to worry about it but the problem is right here this cog here now you've probably already spotted the problem and it is right there there's a little bit of damage here on these cogs here, on this, what you could call them, like the, the teeth of the cog. There's one missing here, and there's two damaged ones here. So as this is turning, turning the level wind on the reel, every time it gets to this point of the cog, it either lodge, it gets stuck, or it just jumps it, but then, you know, it, it doesn't feel smooth and right. So... All you need to do now is remove this piece and then you open 
open the package here and then there's the brand new one look all brand new cogged uh, teeth so like I say that just slides on like that and then every time for like I say every time there's a new cog you always have to apply new grease to the cog really you don't need to put too much on here but because it's brand new we're gonna stick a good amount on there so that's it basically and then you just put it back on so I'll put it all back together and we'll show you the reel reeling I'll, I'll test it out and we'll see what it's like Okay, so it's all back together, tightened up. Now I'm just gonna reel it and see what it sounds like. Yeah, nice and smooth. No jumping, no problems. And that horrible sound has gone. And then see the level winds moving back and forward nicely. So just gonna double double check the clicker. Yeah, clicker works perfect. Take it out of gear. Find the end of the line. Where is the end? Where is the end gone? <laughs> there it is. Now, moment of truth. Free spool. Will it run nice and smoothly? Perfect. No hiccups. No jumping. Nice and smooth. So. Now we have a perfectly working Pen Warfare 20LW Thanks to Smash for sending me this and also I also want to give a big shout out Where's the card? <laughs> right guys I found the card <laughs> There you are Its website is www jim's reels shop dot co dot uk right and as you can see it's got parts for shimano daiwa abu garcia mitchell and pen so that's that they're the reels that he specializes in so if you ever need any parts for any use any of them types of reels give this guy a shout i'm sure he'll help you out reason being i spoke to him today on the phone very 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 kind gentleman um like you say, I just wanted to check up on my order. He said it was definitely on the way. Within ring, within five minutes of of putting the phone down, it came through the door, or through the post. See, <laughs> I was uh, I was impatient, but uh, yeah, this guy is very very helpful. Uh, yeah, big big shout out to this guy. And guys, go and check him out. Go and give him a, a good. Uh, go and give his website a good look. And if you need any parts, I'm sure he'll have it. If you do, if you can't find it. Give his phone number a ring, his phone number's right there. Let me see if I can focus on the number. Now I'll read it off to you anyway. It's 07523-142-760. So like I say, having any problems with any real parts, give this guy a shout, he'll help you out. Thank you very much for watching, guys. Uh, yeah, just brand new boat reel. Thanks to Smash and thanks to Jim. Cheers, guys.